it's not that bipartisan means the lowest common denominator. That's not what we did. We spoke truth to power. Governor Hogan spoke truth to power. He spoke the truth to his own party, even when it was hard. Uh, and I noticed that, and I respected it. And I tried my best to do the same thing. Uh, I raised uh, the necessary issues, even when they were thorny, and even when they were unpleasant, and even when they caused discomfort. Because bipartisan doesn't mean uh, avoiding reality. Uh, it doesn't mean uh, compromise so you don't create any confrontation. Sometimes there has to be confrontation to move forward. And I think the governors did that. Uh, I feel confident in saying we did the best work that we could do under the circumstances. Uh, the circumstances were impossible, but we did the best that we could do. Uh, and I'm proud of the effort that we we led together. And I believe we saved lives. And I believe we brought this nation through this crisis in the best way that we could. Two specifics to leave you with. One, this will happen again. It may not happen during our tenure. It may not be a Delta variant. It may not be COVID, but there will be another pandemic. Uh, let's, let's learn that lesson. We had Ebola, we had Zika, we had MERS, we had SARS, we had Dengue, and then we had COVID. Uh, but let's make sure that when we leave our state, we leave it better prepared for a pandemic and with a better public health emergency response than we found it. Yes, the federal government should be doing this. Yes, the federal government should have stockpiles and have uh, an early alert system and work with the World Health Organization to come up with a real global notification system. But we also learned uh, that when, uh, when it gets tough, they look to the state. And let's make sure we leave our states better prepared so this never happens again. Uh, and the second point is, let's fight for this infrastructure bill. Let's get the best infrastructure bill that we can, but let's get the bill done. And when that funding comes, let's make the projects happen. Uh, and let's show the American people the extension of how effective state governments can be and get that infrastructure funding and get it in the ground and build projects and show accomplishment and show the future post COVID and show that government can work and it can work well. And a project can in, come in on time uh, and it can be done well. That government uh, performance uh, is not an oxymoron. In closing, I thank you. I thank all of you. Uh, I thank you for all the conversations. I thank you for sharing all the stories. I thank you for the emotion. I thank you for the support. Uh, these were hard days for us to go through, and I found a lot of support in my colleague governors who, in essence, were in that same unique position. Very few people were going through what we went through, and we went through it together. And speaking for myself, it was a tremendous personal benefit. Governors have a new credibility. Governors have a new status. Let us use it well, and let us use it to do well. Thank you all very much.